All right, uh, sorry to interrupt, Sam, but we have some breaking news. Mark Kono and Sky 5 HD over Santa Fe Springs and clearly a dangerous pursuit underway. Mark. Extremely dangerous, Frank and Jess. Good morning here. That red uh, car that you see there, a stolen vehicle that is being pursued by the police department here. Where we are is going to be along Firestone Boulevard, just on the west side of the 605 traveling at a very high rate of speed uh, eastbound on Firestone now just below the 605 freeway now this call came out about 20 minutes ago out of Buena Park a stolen vehicle that was traveling at a high rate of speed going through red lights going through stop signs uh, going through uh, going into opposite lanes of traffic here and so this uh, ended up in the Lakewood area where it ended up on surface streets Clark Lakewood Boulevard and he took Lakewood Boulevard northbound out of the Lakewood area here all the way through Downey and this is where we have have caught up to this guy in Downey, eastbound on Firestone. We just caught him as we were coming to air inside that Target uh, parking lot where he kind of went into the parking lot and was making circles, leading the police in circles around the area here before exiting that Target parking lot and now making his way again eastbound on Firestone. We'll try and get uh, some updated locations for you, but uh, again, eastbound on Firestone will be coming up on Pioneer uh, Boulevard here shortly. Now, this guy has uh, just a myriad of options here in terms of what he wants to do, uh, depending on what traffic uh, dictates here. Now, there you see him. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now he's going to be going into potentially a residential area. You saw him coming up on a red light there, and there were a couple of cars ahead of him, so uh, rather than kind of splitting the cars, he went behind him and turned northbound. Now he's going to be northbound into the neighborhood here, and uh, I don't know exactly the street here, but this is going to be in the Downey neighborhood here, northbound, northbound, actually Norwalk coming up towards the 5 freeway in a matter of about half a mile or so. Now this guy, uh, we believe just the sole occupant, as was initially reported, a sole occupant, a male, uh, driving very, very recklessly at very high rates of speed, endangering all the commuters and all of the uh, pedestrians out on the roadway there, blowing through a stop sign right there, so extremely dangerous speeds and extremely dangerous uh, actions by this driver here as he tries to evade the police department here. Now initially, again, uh, this started about 20, 25 minutes ago out of Buena Park here, so in Orange County as a stolen vehicle. Apparently officers spotted the stolen vehicle, attempted to stop this guy or pull this guy over, and uh, the chase was on here. He resisted uh, their attempts, and uh, now it looks like a Honda Civic uh, actually here, a late model Honda Civic, and it looks like they almost might be trying to pit him there as he turns into the neighborhood once again. We are basically on the south side of the 5, or in other words, the west side of the 5 and east of the 605. It's a little enclave. Uh, it's a little neighborhood here of residences and uh, there's a couple of car dealerships on the outskirts here, but uh, where we are is uh, in that neighborhood between the 5 and the 605 freeways here. And you can see this guy as he tries to make his way uh, out or through the neighborhood here. Now I can tell you right now that if this guy keeps going straight, he's going to hit a cul-de-sac and that might uh, pose some problems for him. In the next couple of blocks, he's going to be out of the neighborhood, and he has an opportunity to turn up or down Studebaker Road, and that's going to happen in just the next half or block or so. So he's coming up on Studebaker right now. Let's see what he does. He's going to turn northbound on Studebaker Road, and again, heading over towards uh, the 5 Freeway here. Before he gets to the 5 Freeway, he's going to hit, I believe that's going to be Florence, and so uh, that's going to open up some options for him as he continues to try and get away from the police department. If I'm not mistaken, it is going to be still Buena Park Police Department in pursuit of this guy. I don't believe anyone else has taken over, although it has traveled through several jurisdictions to this point. Now, we understand uh, that there is one airship above. That's going to be an L.A. County uh, uh, Sheriff's Department helicopter who is pursuing this guy, who is keeping a very close eye on this guy as he makes his way northbound, again, on Studebaker Road. And he's coming up to the intersection here. And just beyond this intersection uh, is going to be, uh, again, uh, the 5 freeway here. So he makes a left turn onto the main street here. I believe that's going to be Florence. And uh, just coming under the 605 freeway again. So in this general vicinity, is where we have been tracking this guy for about the past 10 minutes or so. Now he's going to be making his way back westbound on Florence. He's across the 605 freeway, across the San Gabriel River, and now there you go. He's got a lot of wide open, uh, you know, uh, wide open uh, street ahead of him here. So no, uh, you know, opportunity really, uh, you know, to get this guy slowed down unless he wanted to do so on his own volition here. But uh, you can see that there are at least one, two, three, three cruisers behind him, at least one motor officer in pursuit of this guy. And there he is. There he is. He's got his window kind of halfway rolled down. A single male occupant of this Honda Civic here, this late model Honda Civic, being pursued by the police department here. And I can see just behind this guy, this uh, police department uh, cruiser is kind of creeping up on him as he kind of ventures up uh, on some slower traffic. 
traffic. Now again, Florence, and we should be coming up on Lakewood Boulevard here. Lakewood Boulevard here in a matter of another uh, oh, about 20 to 30 seconds at this point. So I can see that cruiser starting to move up on him. I don't know if they have uh, plans to pit him, although uh, just a couple of minutes back in that neighborhood, it looked like uh, they were close to attempting it. But uh, again, there he goes in uh, the wrong lane of traffic there in the opposing lanes of traffic, uh, creating a very dangerous situation again for commuters as well as pedestrians on the road in another half a block. Another half a block. Once he crosses this small intersection, he's going to be coming up on Lakewood Boulevard here. Let's see what he does. Does he cross over Lakewood? Does he turn north or southbound? Now, of course, Lakewood Boulevard, if he goes to the right, can take him up to the 5 freeway. And there you go. Just as I thought, he is turning right, northbound on Lakewood Boulevard. In a matter of another mile, a mile and a half or so, he can uh, enter the 5 freeway or stay in the downy area. Guys, let me turn it over to you for just a moment. Okay. A lot of risky moves you've seen mm. this guy make. You wish this could have ended in the Target parking lot. Yes. Uh, where, you know, no one was around. He was doing donuts, it appeared, in the tar in the parking lot, and then he went back into the residential neighborhoods, which is the, the scariest, because people, as you just saw, crossing the street have no idea this guy's uh, coming up. And we don't really know what he's being, what the violation is, if this is a stolen vehicle or what the issue is, but uh, this person putting so many people at risk right now. Yes, it is being uh, reported as a stolen vehicle. He is coming up on the 5 freeway, uh, and he's uh, as he's going through Downey, Lakewood Boulevard okay, is where this okay. is. Okay, he is getting on the 5 freeway, guys, getting on the 5 freeway. Okay, are we hot? Okay, coming up on the 5 freeway here, guys. Northbound on Lakewood Boulevard. We uh, kind of mentioned that before here. Uh, turning northbound on Lakewood from Florence. He had an opportunity to get on the 5 freeway, and that's exactly what he has done. So the Lakewood Rose made on and off ramp to the 5 freeway. Now he is going southbound on the 5 freeway here, traveling uh, kind of in that acceleration lane, trying to get through uh, slower cars at this point. But there he is, driving very erratically and at very high rates of speed here. Uh, the sole occupant, this is, uh, by the way, a straight stolen, stolen vehicle coming out of the Buena Park. Park area here. Buena Park PD still in pursuit of this guy with the assistance overhead of the LA County Sheriff's Department here. So southbound on the 5 freeway, Lakewood Rosemead is going to be the last off-ramp uh, that you can hit before you hit the 605 freeway. And right now I can tell you that he is in the right lane of traffic. In fact, right on the right shoulder. So if he stays here, he is going to be on the southbound 605 or the northbound 605 in a matter of another 10 seconds or so. So let's watch and see what he does. If he stays on the right shoulder or in fact in the right two lanes, he is going to be stuck on that 605 and so there you go he makes his way over to the left it looks like uh, based on this he could stay on the 5 freeway given his erratic nature though uh, it could uh, mean a situation where he kind of crosses over lanes of traffic and uh, tries to do an evasive maneuver to lose these uh, Buena Park PD officers but that is not going to happen at least not at this point here continuing a southbound on the 5 passing up uh, the 605 freeway here and there you go, southbound on the 5. And looking ahead, I can see at least for the next couple of miles over towards uh, over a little bit uh, past Pioneer, he's going to have full speeds uh, for the next uh, half mile or so. And then it's going to slow down just a little bit here as he approaches, uh, as he approaches uh, or goes through the Santa Fe Springs area and approaches Norwalk here. So he's going to come into an area of slower traffic. And so this uh, could potentially play into his favor given the fact that he is willing to do just about anything to get by slower traffic, weaving in, weaving in and out. Uh, uh, hitting the left and right shoulders, and uh, so this is uh, going to be a little bit tight uh, an area here because this particular stretch of the freeway, because of the ongoing construction, is only three lanes. So three lanes of traffic is all that he has to work with and not much of a shoulder here. You know, given the fact that he was using shoulders uh, just a little while ago, this is going to limit him in what he can actually do and how far he can get away from the pursuing officers here. But here we go, southbound side of the 5 freeway, and that is what we are uh, looking at here. At least three uh, PD uh, officers are behind him, and one motor officer is also behind him as well. So we continue to watch this guy as he moves uh, in that number one lane south on the 5 freeway over towards Norwalk. Guys? Mm. All right, 5 Thank southbound you. now we're watching. Uh, this guy's stolen vehicle started out of Buena Park at about 7.20 this morning, so going on a little over 30 minutes now. Really high rate of speed. You can hmm. see just how much faster he's going than anybody yeah, else I've, on the road. And I, it is uh, slightly surprising that the CHP hasn't joined. And as soon as Mark can uh, chat with us, we'll ask him about that uh, because I believe it's still a Buena Park PD officer uh, in pursuit. Mark, do you see any uh, sign of uh, CHP joining in this pursuit or uh, taking over the pursuit on the freeway? You know, the CHP uh, at some point uh, might take over, and that is uh, if the 
Bald, or I'm sorry, if the Buena Park PD uh, requests their assistance, and now given the fact that they're on the freeway, that uh, certainly might happen. Uh, but uh, if you look at this guy, here he goes. Uh, he is going to be southbound on the 5 freeway, and it looks like he's getting off here at uh, maybe Imperial Highway. Yeah, Imperial Highway is where he, uh, well, he, look, yeah, he's off the freeway here. He is off the freeway right here at Imperial Highway, and it looks like he's going to be making a left turn. A left turn, in other words, uh, eastbound, and uh, possibly going under the 5 freeway. So he is off the 5 freeway maybe actually there he goes and he kind of emerges on the west side of the five freeway here so imperial highway and uh, i'll try and get across for you here just to uh, let you know where he's at imperial highway and pioneer northbound now northbound now on pioneer from imperial highway again coming up on the uh, overpass which is that five freeway so let's see what he does as he uh, hopefully emerges uh, from that five freeway on the north side of it in just a matter of a few seconds here so um is he coming out there he goes there he goes he has an opportunity to get on the freeway northbound here, and no, he passes that up. So he's going to stay on Pioneer Boulevard uh, from the 5 freeway and uh, kind of heading in towards Santa Fe, kind of our general direction of travel here. Again, uh, being pursued by the Buena Park PD, three, uh, three cruisers and one motor officer, as well as the LA County Sheriff's Department, uh, who are uh, kind of watching from overhead. Sky 5 HD is over the pursuit, and we are kind of watching uh, this stolen vehicle suspect uh, make his way northbound on Pioneer, uh, trying to evade uh, being captured by the Buena Park Police Department here. To this point, he has been able to avoid uh, being captured. This pursuit has been going on for the better part of about 30 minutes at this point. So again, Pioneer Boulevard northbound. Uh, let's see, our first major intersection uh, going forward. Uh, we're going to be coming up near Telegraph Road, but before that, I think it's going to be... Uh, give me just a moment here. I'll try and get a street for you here. But uh, at any rate, it is going to be a situation where he is uh, still trying to evade uh, the police officers. He's going to be coming up on a major street here, and that uh, I think is going to be Firestone, Firestone, possibly Florence. So as he comes up on the intersection right now, opposite lanes of traffic, Florence is where he's at. And, oh boy, look at that tricky situation here. Cross traffic, uh, just a lot of traffic to contend with. And he makes a right turn. So now going eastbound, eastbound on Florence from Pioneer, heading in towards uh, or through Santa Fe Springs at this point at a very high rate of speed. Guys, there is, is a passenger. Okay, okay. There is a passenger? There is a peer, there does appear to be a passenger at this point, and we only just realized that uh, as they made that right turn onto Florence. So uh, it appears that there may be a passenger. We'll try and uh, kind of get ahead of it here. Uh, yeah, so there is uh, definitely a passenger, so. Uh, don't know the age or gender or anything like that. Okay, wow, look at that erratic turn, opposite lanes of traffic here. Northbound, northbound, now turning left, going northbound, and uh, boy, this is just turning into a very, very uh, dangerous situation here as we turn northbound on Norwalk Boulevard here. So coming through Norwalk, Santa Fe Springs, uh, this pursuit is just uh, ongoing here. And uh, again, this pursuit started a little over half an hour ago with the Buena Park Police Department attempting to pull over a stolen vehicle suspect here, this red late model Honda Civic. Oh has been uh well on the run oh my goodness has uh, been on the run for quite a while now now he's on the wrong side of the road here i can look ahead there is a truck coming his way a truck coming his way okay and wow oh my gosh okay so this is very dangerous obviously as you can see from our shot here now he is at least on the right lane of traffic here going northbound on norwalk boulevard here and uh, just uh coming up here well he just passed telegraph telegraph is where he almost had that near collision with that catering truck. So uh, again, just a very dangerous situation, a high-speed pursuit, the Buena Park Police Department in pursuit of a stolen vehicle here. Guys. Uh, to our viewers, uh, welcome to the eight o'clock hour of the KTLA 5 morning news. You're looking live at a police pursuit underway. Uh, we've been tracking it for about a half an hour with Mark Cono and Sky 5 HD. This is in the okay. area around Santa Fe Springs, uh, Norwalk. Right now it's, it's on Norwalk Boulevard, uh, moving uh, northbound. A very dangerous uh, situation with a stolen car, a driver, and we now believe a passenger in that uh, red Honda Civic. Uh, with the Buena Park uh, PD in pursuit. Yeah, started in Buena Park, uh, and then we've watched this guy now for about 40 minutes, saying a male driver, that's what we're hearing, and now we're hearing a passenger as well, was in a Target parking lot for a few moments, doing donuts there, then went through neighborhoods, um, you know, Studebaker in Buena Park, Florence, Lakewood, all kinds of neighborhood streets we've seen this guy 
on the wrong side of the road, on the shoulder, uh, almost hitting a pedestrian. So really, really dangerous. Briefly was on the five freeway southbound and now uh, north on Norwalk, although you may have made a turn since then. And this is one of those situations where uh, we sometimes see the police, the pursuing police pull back and allow the uh, uh, the person to sort of move forward in an attempt to, to de-escalate the situation. That has not happened here. It looks like a pit maneuver is about to happen, and it is happening now. Uh, Mark Cotto and Sky 5, tell us what's happening. Frank and Jess, yeah, here we go. Pit maneuver here. Uh, this is going to be on Slauson. Slauson, you saw him turn right on Slauson uh, from northbound on Norwalk here. And so now they were authorized to pit this guy just moments before while they were northbound on Norwalk Boulevard here. And now they uh, pitted the guy. And now at gunpoint, they are ordering this guy to come out of the vehicle here. Now, how this is uh, going to play out, we will see over the course of the next several uh, seconds here. But uh, again, uh, they just pitted the guy as he was uh, completing a right-hand turn east bound on to Slauson from Norwalk Boulevard here. Now, again, the officers are kind of backing off. They do have guns drawn, and uh, it appears that uh, I don't know if he's going to be pinned in on that driver's side here because you can see the right front of that Buena Park Police Department cruiser is basically up against that driver door. So it may be a situation where he is not able to open the actual door to get out. So uh, we'll see how they actually work this guy out of the vehicle like normally would but uh, uh, again there is a passenger and that passenger uh, you know might be ordered to uh, exit the vehicle first or maybe they're going to get him out of the window but uh, what they want to do is contain this situation with one suspect at a time they want to see hands and they want to contain this situation and uh, control the situation as best they can now this is all happening eastbound on the eastbound side of Slauson Avenue from Norwalk Boulevard where this guy was just pitted a few minutes ago here now the passenger appears to be opening the that door. So you see that uh, that passenger door and the passenger arms up as ordered is backing out of the vehicle here and that is going to be uh, the best possible scenario for that person here uh, given the fact that uh, uh, you know this pursuit was uh, going on for so long and uh, you know producing so many dangerous situations here so the passenger is now backing up towards the police officers and now um, is going to be hands up and uh, the arrest team is going to be coming up to I believe her and um, taking her into custody here. But uh, the driver, uh, we surmise, might end up coming out of that passenger door as well. Uh, but again, that passenger has been taken into custody. You see those Baldwin Park police officers uh, kind of getting her hands behind her back. And now uh, that is going to be half the situation diffused. And so now they have, uh, again, to look forward to the driver uh, coming out of that vehicle here. Hopefully a situation where they can uh, control and contain the situation as best they can uh, without uh, any, uh, any harm uh, to any of the public here. But uh, again, uh, that driver still uh, in that vehicle. I don't know if uh, he's actually refusing to come out at this point or if they just wanted to let the passenger out first. So let's see uh, what uh, kind of unfolds here over the course of the next uh, couple of minutes here. Hopefully uh, a situation where the driver kind of exits uh, on his own volition and uh, comes out peacefully. Guys. And we're showing you some video now on the right side of your screen from the actual pursuit uh, to give you a sense of how dangerous this was. Uh, the, the, the driver put so many folks at uh, risk throughout uh, this, this pursuit. Initially believed to you be. You don't want to say the ravings of a lunatic, but you certainly see him waving his arms, clearly talking to police. And as you said, Scott, they don't want to hear it right now. Get out of the vehicle and follow their commands. It's really, you know, at that point, it's that simple. It's very simple. And when you've got, what, half a dozen guns pointed at you and you don't, you know, follow their commands, I mean, it just. It lets the officers know what they're dealing with. They're mm -hmm. not dealing with someone who's, you know, operating under their full capacity because if you really want to live um, and an officer, several of them with guns pointed at you, tell you to do something, you would think the right thing to do would be just obey their orders. So here they're moving in, so mm -hmm. it looks like they're not too worried about what the individual's going to do. He's keeping his hands up. It seems like they feel free to move into the vehicle. Well, there's and, the possibility uh, they talk to his passenger, and if his passenger gave them some information as to... We don't have any weapons. There is that possibility that maybe that's why they're... Now he's reaching yeah, somewhere, he's, and they yeah. are right on him. 
Boy, it's a frightening situation, isn't it, to look at this because we do know that one wrong move, the officers get scared, they fear for their life, they're going to fire. I mean, it's just, it's an unfortunate uh, dynamic of what happens in these types of situations. Right. It looks like everything is going as planned, but all it takes is, you know, one really bad move on the part of the suspect, and uh, the, the, the officers are in a real tough situation. Okay, he's okay. climbing over, arms he's out the window. Up, Yep, looking good here as far as uh, the posture of the suspect. We do understand he's a man. His hands are up. Probably be told to back up to officers to turn around, <clears throat> excuse me, to put his hands up and then to back up towards the patrol car. That's usually the procedure. Maybe pick up his shirt to make sure that he doesn't have a weapon inside his waistband there. Uh, but it looks like hands behind the head. Looks like a, a young adult male and uh, following the orders of the officers at this point. I'm pretty sure we're on Washington, uh, just to the uh, east side of Norwalk Boulevard. It's right on the border of Santa Fe Springs and Norwalk, if I'm not mistaken. And he still seems to be talking to officers <laughs> yeah. as he appears to be following their orders right now, but... I think you, you, what you said is perfect. He, he's still talking, and I think this is an example of what police are facing mm -hmm. uh, so many times where we don't see it. Uh, this person just... Need, is, is wanting to say something mm -hmm. uh, and probably they not appreciating where the officers are coming from as you can imagine I mean you can't know if this person is armed or not they've already shown a willingness to put other people at risk with the kind of driving they've had so uh, it's uh, frustrating I'm sure for a lot of people in that area as this kind of plays out and uh, they're just trying to go about their work day but yeah. they can't because streets are closed. And this is a tense moment right here. They're getting ready to put him into handcuffs but he's got to do exactly what they say uh, before they rush up on him. He looks like he's complying. Still talking. And still talking. Last bits of freedom yeah. he wants to get out what he has to say I guess. Yeah, and it's interesting because usually uh, you see a suspect that will obey a little bit quicker than this. This has taken some time, but it appears that everything has gone as planned as far as the operation of the police officer is concerned. You do a picture-perfect pit maneuver, you get the, the, the uh, passenger out without incident, and now you get the suspect, the driver, out without incident, um, and that's certainly what everybody wanted. Pit maneuvers can be tricky because, you know, this was in an area where if that vehicle would have spun out, it could have went into oncoming traffic, but as I mentioned, uh, the suspect slowed down to a rate that allowed them to do it. Buena Park Police did it what seemed to be perfectly and now uh, fortunately we have uh, both suspects or one suspect and the other individual, we're not certain, uh, the woman that was a passenger uh, uh, in custody at this point and uh, usually these things can wind down pretty quick. When there's not another car involved, they can usually get that vehicle, the suspect vehicle, off to the shoulder and open up traffic so people can get through, and I'm certain they'll do that in this case as well. We don't think there was any accidents. Uh, once again, if you're just joining us, this started in Buena Park as a stolen vehicle, that red Honda Civic. That now is the driver. Uh, he is under, in custody with Buena Park Police, and this is on Washington, just to the east side of Norwalk Boulevard in Santa Fe Springs. Okay, Scott, thank you very much. Uh, if there are any developments on this that we need to provide as updates, we will do that. Make sure you're watching on Eyewitness News at 11 a.m. This has been special coverage of this pursuit that has now ended in Whittier. We'll continue with Good Morning America.